We need more young families to move to this town, um, bottom line. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Solberger, and we are in my hometown. We're in Johnson, Vermont. This week we have a special issue of Seven Days focusing on rural Vermont towns and how they're surviving in this age of Amazon and Act 46. We've got declining populations, our enrollment numbers at schools are going down. I wanted to go to my hometown to find out how Johnson is doing. So you'll notice that we have no stoplights in Johnson. This is our main drag here. So we have everything from a bookstore to a yoga studio, we have a cafe, we have a market, and you know, just about everything that you need in a small town. So I talked to Kyle Noose, who is a member of the local select board here in Johnson, who grew up here and then left and came back to raise her family here. It's been great being back. I mean, just the the warmth and support that you feel from this community and its willingness to get things done. What Kyle does for the community, I see her as this um, legitimate small town activist. What she does with organizing is, is literally changing what Johnson will be in decades in the future. And also because on Sunday you're the only place where you can get this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I come over from near St. John's for this. Okay. Wow. As a way to create some fun energy and buzz in our town and to encourage people to shop locally, we've created these little loyalty cards. Keep your, your dollars here in Johnson and support our small businesses. Yeah, some more money spent in Johnson. <laughs> well, in the early days, Johnson was primarily agriculture with some forestry, of course. Along with the agriculture came the need for mills to produce the products to support the family in the farm. This is the old factory. You and I are standing right in back of that window. We've been around for quite a while, since 1842. This is what the town of Johnson looked like back in the old, old days. Back in the old days, that's how we got our power. We are pretty well known for, although it no longer exists for the talc industry here in Johnson. It has changed a bit. Now we're more an international community with the Vermont Studio Center. Vermont Studio Center is a retreat center for artists and writers from across the country and around the world, which has, I think, an economic impact on town, kind of a cultural impact on town. My family in Johnson goes back four generations. Johnson will always be home to me, and having this artist community has really helped me. Even though I'm not traveling, the world's coming to me. I came for the college, but I kind of just fell in love with Johnson, so I stayed. <laughs> Lyndon and Johnson uh, merged together this year and to make Northern Vermont University, and that was to save money in administrative costs because of enrollment. In the end, I feel like it's a really good thing. And you get a lot of outside influence, like just between the school and the studio center. It keeps us all on our toes, keeps us really aware and open. The people of this town, the architecture, the traditions, the beautiful sense of space. This is a river town, a mountain town. I've lived here all my life and it's all I know. Yeah, I grew up around here and this is what I love to do. All the beach glass here was found in Johnson, Vermont. I like it because it has a lot of good people that work here. It's a good loving community. We have good people that come out. We come together, you know, like this event has been put on for our sixth grade. We're selling big goods for our fifth grade trip. Having an elementary school whose arts program was funded or is still funded by the Vermont Studio Center, that brought a lot of diversity into my life. Where we connect the children from this town to really a global community of artists who bring not only their artistic passion and techniques, but also their cultural backgrounds into Johnson Elementary School. We do worry about and think a lot about um, what's going on with our elementary school in light of this Act 46 legislation that sort of came down on us, where we've really sort of lost the local control of our school. Your seat? Oh, $10 off today's 
Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm shopping local! Yes! yes. Well, the store looks so warm, but especially on a day like this. Yeah. Johnson is definitely a rural community that I think is dealing with some universal issues. Just making a small brick and mortar shop stay alive and vibrant is really challenging, especially with online shopping now. Do you have any idea how much you're going to make off of these? Well, when I got him, when I got the home, I'd probably make about $150. Poverty and just making a living here. It's hard to make a living just doing one thing. So even my husband and I, we own this shop, but we have side jobs. Another challenge we have here is our housing stock. It's that single family home that a family could afford that we're lacking here. That's been really difficult for us. So we've been stuck renting. Vacant buildings, especially prime real estate ones right here on our main street. The Red Mill behind me is a great example of a building that's really an iconic building in the village of Johnson and we take very seriously our responsibility to upkeep those buildings and maintain those buildings not only for our own operation but for whatever role they're going to have in this town you know well into the future. So they have been instrumental in building up the town and making it as beautiful and vibrant as it is. While the Vermont Studio Center is a 501c3 organization, we we pay full state property taxes here and that contributes to the well-being of, of Vermont and the town of Johnson. We all saw the SNL sketch that was totally cringy. Rural Vermont is still a non-welcoming place to families of color. As a state, we need to figure out how to change that, and that's on us. You know? Personally, I think that adopting and publicizing the statement as our own is the first of many important steps to getting our message of inclusivity out. How's it going? Uh, well, how are you? Good. Do karaoke every Saturday? Yes. Which is the highlight, I think, of the week for everyone. Karaoke. <laughs> That's, that's the thing here? Is that that the is thing? the thing. There's an amazing music scene here. We have this thing called Tuesday Night Live over the summer, and it's for two months. Every single Tuesday, there's a local band that plays. In the past, it's been really hard to like get the, the college population off the hill and into the town, and the Vermont Studio Center residents, you see them around, but they're kind of in their own little bubble there. And Tuesday Night Live really brings the whole community together. We have local products here. We try to keep our vendors from Vermont. Shop locally, spend our money here. We need to attract young families. To continue this push for vibrant school systems. That's the other thing that we're working on is getting broadband here. Well, yes, we've lost our big business like Parker and Stearns, but I think other businesses are coming in and we're growing. We have a good foundation in the community of people that, you know, are going to stay here and grow and children that are willing to stay. And you think you'll stay here when you grow up? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a lot of people who are worried about us leaving. There's not really that conversation of go experience somewhere else, but you can always come back home. Lots of continued hard work doing the good things that we do. That we'll be able to, to come together and come up with solutions. We plan to be here. This is our, this is definitely our forever home. Well, in the amount of time since I lived here, Johnson has changed a lot, so I cannot wait to see what the future holds for Johnson. And we will get stuck in Vermont for you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alert. We have mm -hmm. trick-or-treaters everywhere on the know. street. Like, oh my gosh, tons of kids. I know, it's really I used to trick-or-treat on the uh, street. Did you? Oh yeah, that was the place. I have memories of it. I just totally. remembered like, thinking about that costume for oh, weeks. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. That is a great street. It, it is, is a great street. And everyone that I bring here is like, how do I live here? I've been asked that question so much lately. I was like, I don't know. You just do it. You just do it.